Hello guys, what's up? Hope you're doing great. I'm Diego, and this time we're gonna react to episode five of season three of The Legend of Korra, which is called The Metal Clan. And before getting into the recap, Yamako lost his scarf in episode three. Um, you know what? I'm gonna keep it. One, because it's so cool. It's so freaking cool. And secondly, because I'm gonna honor his character. I'm loving his character in this season. Come on, after roasting him for two whole seasons. I'm <laughs> This is true character development. Pali breakout. Yes, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying Pali because I did a live stream a few days ago. It was basically transforming into a meme, and I really didn't know how to pronounce his name. It's Pali. I, be I believe it's Pali. You know, Pali. But when I realized about the name of this character, I just couldn't help but say Pali. It's funny to me. I mean, it's a it's a freaking store here in Costa Rica. It's one of the best openings in any episode of Legend of Korra so far, and I. Can Completely loved it. It was so thrilling. It was so atmospheric. You know the the action and the tension and, and the way everything was executed from the build up and some amazing lines. I mean, when she said, "I've been waiting 13 years to feel this warm," that's one of my favorite lines from Legend of Korra so far. She that was delivered amazingly. And this is Zahir's girlfriend. And I found that interesting because well, just like the recent comments this actually humanizes this relationship this these characters even though they're villains i appreciate that they're giving just a, like, like some humanity bossing say drama these airbenders were trained by the dai li and they're terrifying and so Korra and the whole gang went to the temple to release the airbenders save kai and so they escaped bossing say and these airbenders are joining Tenzin and going to become air nomads. Tenzin gave them the choice to either become air nomads or do whatever they want with their bending and they chose to join him. It was such a heartwarming moment, such a satisfying moment. This is something that Aang would have loved. I'm just loving this new stage of the story and I cannot wait to see this unravel. History revealed. We finally know about Korra's backstory with being sheltered. Lord Zuko, Tarnrock, and even Sokka we're protecting Korra from Zaheer and all of these criminals. It's 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 very juicy, it's very spicy. So grab a cup of tea and let's watch it. <laughs> oh Naga, first frame. Already loved it. Gosh. They're really focusing on the air bending here. The most dangerous criminals in the world are hunting you down. We should get moving. Relax, we just got here. I think she wants you to throw it for her. <laughs> Please, Lynn. I'll pass, thanks. Oh. On the radio about another airbender. Finally, where are they? A city called Zaofu, the home of the Metal Clan. You know the place? Uh, probably, yeah. But I don't want you going there. Oh. I'd rest a lot easier if you were back safe in Republic City. Sorry, but if there's an airbender in Zaofu, then that's where we're going next. Is it Zaheer? <laughs> it would be really funny if it was Zaheer. No! No! No, God! No, that was so rude! Oh, wow. Wow, this... Wow, wow, wow! It looks like straight up from Lord of the Rings, like an elf kingdom. Hmm. Lynn has some history here. Hmm. I love the animation on the ships. I'll, ne I'll never get over it. Aren't you coming? What's there to see? It's metal. Big whoop. Just find the airbender and let's get moving. And don't tell anyone I'm here. Oh, does she have bad reputation? Just do what I say. Fine. You got it, Chief Cranky Pants. <laughs> and she's left with Pabu and and Naga, who need to be spoiled. My name is Iway. Is this everyone? Um, yep, just us. Lying. What does Lynn have to hide here then? Gosh, it looks so beautiful. A new airbender too, like you got it. <laughs> It's so nice to meet you. How exciting. <laughs> New friends! Oh my god, I love it. My new airbenders. I heard this was a place to come if you're a new airbender. Um I woke up and suddenly I could do this. Mom! <laughs> Wait, how did Did Zahir always had this in that cut? This top in here? Are we gonna get to meet her? Years ago, she left to wander the world in search of enlightenment. No one has seen her since. Oh. 
very interesting mystery there. I love how this season is really focusing on like taking us with the landscapes, you know, like absorbing the world like this frame. Oh my god, it's so beautiful. It really is phenomenal. Cool. Oh, it looks like a dance. They are rehearsing for a dance premiere. Okay, it's, it's a dance. Okay, cool. Damn, that's so beautiful. I love it. Expanding the world. Patriarch of the Metal Clan, Su Yin. Please call me Su. Great to finally meet you, Avatar Korra. And this must be Mako Bolin and Asami. You've done your research. Awesome, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, you're a dancer. <laughs> dancer, leader, wife, mother, collector of rare meteorites. She sounds like my mom. <laughs> she can do anything. Why did you lie when Ai Wei asked if there was anyone else with you? What? I, I didn't. I mean... How did you know I was lying? <laughs> when people lie, their heart rate and breathing increase. That is so true. <sighs> it's all about the details. We came with Republic City's chief of police. She didn't want anyone to know she was here. I'm sorry I didn't tell you. Lynn's here? Well, I would love to say hello. Hmm. Lynn never told you about me. No? Why would she? I'm Lynn's sister. Oh! <gasps> Is there like a jealousy? Are they like fighting or something? Why didn't you ever tell me you had a sister? Half sister. Same mom, different dad. Oh, okay. I can see that. 30 years, the least you could do is say hello. I have nothing to say to you. Why is she so mad? I don't understand. You two haven't spoken in 30 years? How come? <laughs> it's a long time. You're the one who tore our family apart. Family drama, yeah. We can stand here arguing about the past all day, but that's not the reason the Avatar came here. Lynn, your niece is the new airbender. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, terrific. <laughs> oh my god, so bitter. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, that's a cool game that takes me back to the pro bending tournament. <laughs> Doing arts with me they're so creative. Wow, that's a really nice banana. <laughs> banana. It's not a banana. It was inspired by harmonic convergence. It represents the dawning of a new age. Mm. Obviously. Obviously, of course. Yeah. Oh my god. Like every artist, it is obvious art. I can't believe you're really here. You are so amazing. It's great to meet you, Opal. Opal. That's a beautiful name. Thanks. <laughs> she gets okay, all red I, with bowling. You already knew that. <laughs> oh, that's cute. That's cute. I've always wanted to meet you. My mom has told me so many stories about you. I'm sure she has. My God, so bitter. She's so nice. I was hoping she could train with the rest of the airbenders at the Northern Temple. That sounds amazing. Nonsense. This is where Opal's home and family are. You can train her here. If you're concerned about security, don't be. This is the safest city in the world. This is the safest city in the world. No, that tells me that shit is going to happen in this city. Why do you have such a problem with your sister? She seems nice. Come on, we can stay a little while. <laughs> it's amazing to see that Korra here is like the one that's pacifist and being the nice one, and Lin is like the bitter one. It should be the other way around. <laughs> you want to keep your elbows in, torso straight, Feet just skimming the ground. She's training her, that's amazing. Oh wow. Cora's becoming a master, that's amazing. Wow, you're a natural. You really think so? Thanks. I love the visuals, the, it, it really is like a dance. A leaf in the wind, right? A leaf in the wind. Took me back to that. Oh, go back to Korra's episode 2, or season 1. Oh, it's Zaheer. This is the music. Yes, it's Zaheer. Oh my god. No way he's freaking infiltrated. Now that man's a leak. Uh. I just got a message from Tenzin. He's with a whole group of other airbenders at the Northern Temple, and he wants all of you to join them. Okay. The Avatar is with them? No. He's so interested in that, of course. It's unfortunate. Oh my god, oh my god, it really is a here. He. 
Oh my god, I can't believe it. I just had a major breakthrough on the tram station remodel. That was my brilliant architect of a husband, Batar, and our oldest son. He engineers all my husband's projects. Interesting. My children are a blessing. Yeah, mom used to say that too, but she never meant it. <laughs> They're really delicious. So... This is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I don't think I've ever had a bad meal in my life. Oh, I had plenty with mm, romance here. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. That's all in the past. Things are great now. I got to be a pro bender, fought against a dangerous revolution, became a mover star. <laughs> I'm helping the Avatar rebuild the whole nation. That's a pretty good profile. I'm so exciting. She's so into him. She's so into Bolin, genuinely. Earth Queen. Oh, she's horrible. She thinks she can just do whatever she wants. Sounds familiar. What? Nothing. The world is evolving and the Earth Queen can evolve with it. Step aside. Yeah, she's so... and. Teak. So outdated. You want to talk about what's really bugging you because I'm right here. Oh my god, it's escalating. Oh! <gasps> Varric! Oh my god! What, what are, are you doing, doing here? here? <laughs> yeah. What are any of us doing? <laughs> so existential. I love Varric. Allegedly plotted to abduct the president. Never convicted. The universe decided to set me free. Wow, he he's such he has such a way with words. Varric's heading up my new technology division. Magnets. I'm working on a high-speed rail that'll revolutionize transportation and shipping as we know it. All right enough. <laughs> sure, Varric's made a few mistakes in his past, but that doesn't mean he should pay for it the rest of his life. Redemption? Wow. Wow, she's not having it. Wow, okay. That's some those are some deep family issues. You and Opal seem to hit it off at dinner. <laughs> Too bad she's not my type. Right. Right, okay. Your type is dumb mover star or psycho ice princess. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh my god, I love them. Maybe you're right, bro. <laughs> Maybe Opal is bowling material. Bowling material. Yeah. That's some Bully Maguire stuff. Neither of us knew our fathers, and Toph was always busy being chief of police. Mm. But we both ended up fighting for Mom's attention. Lynn followed in her footsteps and became a cop. I was more of a rebel. Well, yeah, two completely different people. I was 16. I left home to explore the world. I sailed the seas on a pirate ship. Wow, she... She was the adventurous type. I finally realized what I was looking for was a family. And created a place I could truly call home. It sounds like you've created the perfect life here. I've always wanted Lynn to be a part of it, but I gave up hope long ago of her ever coming around. She became totally isolated, Lynn. Like, she became so strict, like everything opposite to, to her sister. Hey, little lady. Oh, uh, little lady. <laughs> really blowing me away with your hair, Ben. Bolin, you have to be yourself, genuine. Yes. Stop, stop. No, oh, no, God. no. Why are you acting weird? Yeah. Why are you acting weird? I don't like how you're talking to me. Take a note, guys, everyone. everyone. Girl likes me and I, I end up acting stupid. Who said I liked you? Oh no. But I thought Mako said She's kidding with you. Do me a favor and stop trying. Well, don't stop trying. Just stop trying so much. Mm -hmm. Just be yourself. That's what I'm saying. No. <laughs> no. No. Cora. I need your help with something. Ah, I was so looking forward to I like their chemistry. I like their back and forth. I really like it. Oh my god, this guy's infiltrated. I can't believe it. What's he gonna do? What is that? So uncomfortable. What were you reading? A poem by Guru Lahima, the wisest airbender who ever lived. He really knows the stuff. Knowledge is power. Good night. Good night. You seem to know a lot about airbender history for someone who just got airbender. <sighs> Suspicious. Oh, gosh. He's so free. Oh! Ugh! Ugh! Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I can't believe it. Okay, it's happening, it's happening, fight's happening. I need some help! <sighs> Come on! Please! Yes! Ooh. 
Oh my god! Ugh, he's escaping! Oh my god, I'm so worried for her. I'm so worried for her. Oh! Ooh, okay, okay, let's go. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh, chills. Ah. Sorry, I won't be joining with the Northern Air Temple. I'm afraid I have other plans. Of course, he has. He's, he's looking for the Avatar. That was a cool little fight in between them. Hey, it's me. I brought someone who wants to talk to you. Please, please. please. I'm sorry being here has been so hard for you. I was so excited to get to know you. I'd heard so many great things about you from Mom and Grandma Toph. I guess I was kind of sad that you didn't want to get to know me. I know my family can be a little crazy and overwhelming sometimes. But I would love it so much if you would be a part of it. <laughs> Wait, why is this so freaking relatable? Oh my god. Sorry, did I say something wrong? Get out! Oh my god. No. It feels so unfair. Don't get mad at Opal. I asked her to talk to you because I thought it would help you snap out of whatever funk you're in. <laughs> but I guess I was wrong. Why don't you focus on fixing the world and stop trying to fix my family? Ooh. Ooh, what a line. You're always going to be a bitter, lonely woman. If she continues this path, she's not wrong. Oh my god. Oh my god, it just ended like... Oh my god, it ended in such a bleak note. Oh my god. I love the depths that are given to these characters, like... Honestly, it really seems like she's so frustrated. So, so, so frustrated. frustrated. There's so much story, so much backstory to these characters. And even though it was not action-packed, I just love the feel of it and just love the expansion of the world and mystery with Zaheer. Well, same mystery, like the tension with Zaheer. These little moments between Mako and Bolin, Bolin and Paul and I mean it's amazing. I, I'm loving it. I'm loving the story like and it continues to be this great build up to really chaotic things to happen, I believe. So yeah, that was episode five of season three of the Legend of Korra. It was great. I loved it, even though it wasn't like action-packed or anything like that. It established new relationships and new tension and new drama. As always, it's very well directed. I love to see how particularly in these episodes, we're getting to see like the landscapes. We're given the chance to absorb the world, to appreciate the visuals. And even though this is animated, I'm getting the sense to be like completely immersed in this world. Even though like season one and season two of Korra like delivered on that, the way it's executed in this season is just, it's just so different. And sometimes I forget that it's animated. I find that to be completely fascinating. And this whole episode, I love how they are focusing on giving Lin Backstory, more backstory and more character development and we're getting introduced to Opal which seems to be a very promising character and there's some family drama with Lin's sister I really want to see this develop because it's getting to Lin having these having this stress like it really seems to haunt her even and I say this because of the way the episode ended which with her just being like so angry and then a tear they're giving Lin new depth something that we've never explored with her before and she's always been like a cool character in this show but never taken the time to like humanize her if like if that's the word like to be immersed in her life you know to be with her and there seems to be some great potential new relationship between Korra and Opal and Bolt and Opal and, and the return of Beric, which is just amazing. Really looking forward to see more of the development of Lin's family drama. Because, well, who doesn't love family drama? Family drama was like one of my favorite things from Avatar The Last Airbender. And when Korra did that with season two of Korra, that's like a really good highlight of that season as well. On the other hand, we have Zaheer, which I'm gonna confess that <laughs> I didn't realize he was a here when he had his first appearance in this episode. I mean, he was bald and with no beard and I was like kind of confused. But when the music started to kick in, when he was in like this, you know, leaf in the wind scenario, you know, 
it clicked entirely. It was like, my God, I was so scared because this guy is strategic, very calculating. He's so knowledgeable. This character is giving, giving me those vibes of knowledge is power. You feel his presence. You really feel his presence. I love that little fight with Kaya. So you're going straight to Republic City. I mean, he's gonna do whatever he can in his power to get to Korra. And I'm worried because this guy is really menacing as freak. And so yeah, I really can't wait to see more. That will be it. Thank you so much for watching. Really hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more content like this, please give it a like and you may want to subscribe if you haven't yet. You can also join my Patreon for full uncut reactions and also poll access to exclusive content only on Patreon. I also do first time watching movies, rewatching movies, other TV show reactions and much more. And we'll see each other in the next one. See ya.